In today's tutorial, we'll be creating this digital coding type of reveal, which was inspired by a recent post from FaZe, if you know you know, and this can be used to reveal any text or logos without using any plugins, let's get right into it. We'll start off by creating a text and typing A. And you want to make it pretty small because we're going to have many duplicates of it, so this should be good enough. We'll go into the text settings and under animate we'll select character offset and we set this to 30. Now nothing really happens, but if we go into add, selector, add a wiggle, you can see it scrolls through the whole alphabet randomly. Now this is a little too fast, so we'll go into the wiggle selector, change the wiggles per second to 0.1, and as you can see it slows it down. Now this is fast enough because we're going to have many of these going all over the place, and if you want to you can always go in and adjust it. And now let's go ahead and duplicate this character. We'll alt click the stopwatch under source text and we'll paste this expression, which will be in the description or in the comment section. And basically what that does is creates duplicates horizontally and vertically. And as you can see, it creates a mess here. And in order to fix this, we'll go into the text settings and we'll just expand the distance between the lines and between the letters. Now, if you want more of these, you simply go into the text box here and change the five to 25 or whatever you need. And it just expands it 25 by 25. You don't want to go too crazy because it does tend to get pretty heavy, but as you can see we have it randomly changing everywhere. And now one more thing we want to do is fade in each character randomly. We'll go into the animate again and select opacity and you want to make sure it's set to animator 2 and not under animator 1. We'll set the opacity to 0, go into the range and set a keyframe for the starting point and go to about 1 second and set this to 100. Now, it does a linear animation from start to end of the opacity. And if we go into the advanced and set the randomized order to on, it does just what we want and fades in each character individually and randomly. But it's not smooth. So in order to make it smooth, we'll go ahead and set the shape here to ramp up. And we'll set the ease low to 50. The offset on our range selector set to minus 100. We'll set a keyframe for it and about where our starting keyframe ends, we'll set the offset to zero. So now let's go ahead and select this and hit F9. You can see we have the text individually fading in smoothly. And as you can see, this part is pretty much done. If you wanna go ahead and slow this down, remember you go into animator one and set the wiggles per second here to 0.01, .01, for example. And this will really slow it down. I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to 0.1. And now we can go ahead and hide this and let's create the text or add the logo that we originally want to reveal. Let's enable this back. And as you can see, we need to make it bigger. So we'll go back into text here and set the repeat on the first one to maybe 30. We can also go ahead and decrease the amounts. Okay, now we'll simply go ahead and set it to an alphabet to the text layer. And now if we play this back, it appears within the text gradually, just like we want to. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this text layer and I'm gonna duplicate it, and this will be my main reveal. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a glitch transition to make it appear over the original animation. Now, if you don't have any glitch plugins, I'm gonna show you a pretty common way to create the glitch transition using fractal noise. We'll go ahead and create a solid, we'll name this fractal, and add fractal noise to it. We'll change the noise type to block, set the complexity to two, and decrease the brightness, Going to transform and unselect uniform scaling. Gonna scale up the width and maybe the height a bit as well. And I'm gonna set a keyframe for my brightness, for my scale width and the evolution. Let's bring these up and let's go to about three seconds here. So it's gonna be lasting one second and we'll make the evolution 180. The scale width just a bit closer and make sure the screen turns full white. And on the first keyframe, make sure it's fully black. So we just have this little fractal noise animating from black to white. Let's go ahead and hide this and select our original text or logo layer and add an effect called displacement map. And under displacement map layer, we'll select the fractal noise we created and make sure effects and masks is selected. So now if we set the horizontal to 50 and the displacement to five, you can see we have this sort of distortion effect happening. Now, in order to make it centered, we're going to duplicate the displacement map and set the horizontal to minus 50 and the vertical to minus 5. 
basically the negative value of what you have in your first one. I'm going to select this layer and set it to a luma mat to my fractal noise. And now I basically get this glitchy type of reveal, which is pretty cool and without using any plugins, as you can see. And now if we combine these two together, you can see we have this glitch appear on top of this. And this is how I basically created this effect. Let's go ahead and add a background and add a gradient to it. We'll make the end color here kind of dark. Swap the colors and make it radial. And on my impact point, I'm going to be using Saber to sort of glow around the text, which I know I said it's without plugins, but it's a free plugin which everyone has. And if you want to see how to create this type of impact, this is how you do it. So I'm going to add another solid, name this Saber. I'm going to add Saber to it. Go into the core type and set it to layer mask. And on my original text or logo, I'm going to select layer, auto trace, make sure it's set to alpha. And this basically gives me a mask of the text or logo composition. I'm going to copy these masks here, set it to my saber layer. And let's make sure it's aligned. Okay. And we're going to zero out the settings here, set a keyframe for these four, move these here and a few frames here. We're going to set it to sort of impact with the glow. Let's enable it. Okay. And going back to zero. Select them, hit F9. We'll make the layer additive. Let's change this to white. And basically this is how you create this glowing transition impact type of effect. Now, if you want to create this type of angle, which I did here, which is 3D with some depth of field, as you can see, you can simply go ahead and set everything to 3D, create a camera, select our camera tool and move closer to our text like so. And we'll hit AA on our camera, enable the depth of field, and increase the focus distance until it focuses on the text. And we can increase the aperture and blur level here until we're happy with the result. And this is how you get this depth of field type of look that you've seen in the beginning. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.